Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today it's time for Cup and Cards So I'm just getting set up, shouldn't be too long Just wanting to be able to follow any chat with anyone who comes in today So just give it a minute to catch up with us there was always a lag in a Facebook Live. But maybe if I go to my Jazzle Dazzle page, I might have a better chance of finding everyone. So let me just get that. Just look. Oh, here we go. It's telling me I'm live, and I bet you have not put the volume down. Maybe that would happen. Okay, so if you come in to watch, please say hello in the chat. Yeah, that's us. Let me know you're here. Somebody sent me some love, so somebody must be around. Maybe it's someone watching incognito who can't admit to being here, <laughs> shall I say. Should, should be doing other things. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but today I want to... I've, I've done all my sort of everyday cards, which I'm happy with. They're all beautiful. They're all special in their own way. But I wanted to do just a few more elaborate more special cards so I am using Dove of Hope because you know it's been such a hard year we need hope <laughs> sometimes hope is all we have but we have you know we're hearing more hopeful news every day that we might be able to find some way of being with our families soon and getting back to some of the activities that we all enjoy Mine is I want to get back to a lady who lunches and coffees with her friends. Don't know about you guys. Hi Heather, you'll be going off to work. Hi Renee. Nice to have you all here and please just do feel free to chat to each other in the chat. So I'm going to be bringing on my cut and boss today, my machine, my beloved new cutting machine that Stampin' Up! have. Um, branded all for themselves. Um, it, it's new to Stampin' Up! this year and I can't wait but next week sometime my little mini cut and boss should be arriving which will make it a lot easier doing things. So just kind of explain. Today I have Dove of Hope out and I have the Dove of Hope die set out as well. I have already pulled out some dies that I want to use for the first card um, and I'm yeah, I use this um, magnetic tray that I got from my husband. Um, it's a mechanics tray. It's a little one. I've got a big one as well that we've actually mounted on the wall. But this is so handy because it makes sure I don't knock dies off my desk when I'm working. So, And when I take them out, I can pop them in there, put them away soon. I'll try to work quickly, Heather, so that you see some of what we're doing. So the other thing is... I still have tons and tons and tons of this paper or frost what's it called it oh man I don't even have the I sent it to somebody last night it feels like frost <laughs> it's like it's a meat look I've still got far too much of it here so I need to be using it this is I don't know how I've managed I think I forgot that I had a pack and then ordered another pack and it, they're all open and mixed up and I did do a showcase last year at our Scottish get together and I had used this too so oh there's some silver oh that could be handy right so these papers are absolutely divine they're beautiful the photographic winter snapshots on one side and then on the other they're all silver foiled how cool is that hundreds of it hundreds so 
I've taken out two sheets today for our cup and cards. Um, and I've cut them down. So I've gone, because I want, these are for kind of more personalised um, special cards. Um, I've done them square. So I've cut these two, they are cut down to a 14.5 centimetre card blank. Obviously just use the largest square card that you can make with your cardstock and then do your layers accordingly. So I've got a Knight of Navy layer here and this is 13.5 centimetres so we've got a nice bit of the board, the white border here and I've chosen two pieces and cut them to 13 centimetres square and this one as well. So th these just give a very quick decent background to what we're making. Not so many people come in yet today but a lot of people probably busy but that's fine because I will put it up to Facebook later and it stays on. Um, I put it up to YouTube later as well and it stays on Facebook forever so people can see later. So these two pieces I've done a lighter one and a darker one and then um, I'm going to work on which one I'm going to work on right now. Will we? I think this one I'll probably do first and uh, what I'm going to do is use white card and cut out a dove with my cut emboss. So let's just put this out the way now. So this is our lovely, lovely machine. I need to take my grid paper off or the machine will uh, slip about everywhere. So yeah, so this is my cut emboss machine. It's a bit dusty. That's not good. I have been using it. I just obviously haven't been cleaning it. We'll give it a wipe later on. And this is, um, turn it that way so that you'll be able to see what's happening. Because I know some of my newer people haven't done die cutting. And then I usually do it all before I come in. And I don't know where I've put my plates. I had, here they are. I'm ready to start and I've laid them up. Okay, so... What we've got here is we have plate one, which is the base plate, and then two, and then I've got two of these number three. Now you can see I've used this a lot. I absolutely love this machine. I love the one I had before that was a different brand, but this is much smoother. And I am going to place my card on there. I've cut half this just half a sheet of A4 card, just our thin whisper white for this one, and I'm just going to pop whoops the dies on. Obviously, you can be frugal and space everything out if you want to. Whoops. Is that all the dies I wanted to use for this bird? Probably want that twice. Yeah, I think so. Right. And then pop a plate number three on. Whoops, that's not good. Plate number three on top. And then we go. So if you've come in and you haven't said hello yet. It's so smooth. There's no force involved at all. I have to take that back if you want to. You should. It might slip if you take it back. It's a bit dodgy to do that, and I shouldn't have done it, but it just makes it easier for me to get it out. Let's hope it didn't slip. And then I can just pop these in my magnetic tray ready. Actually, what I want now See how beautifully it doesn't only cut it embosses as well. I need a I think I need another wing. So we need the two pieces for the wing because I want to put white behind it so that you can really see. Whoops. I haven't hoovered yet, so I'm just weaking all this on the floor. 
then they all go up the hoover when we're done. Okay, so then I want this and this, another ring. So this, my dove will have two rings. Then put the three on top, offer it to the machine and turn. And we'll just do it once this time. Just so here we go. Oops. So we've got two more pieces for our rings. And let's just put the die safely in the thing. We may bring this machine back on for the next card, but for the moment, that's kind of all I want. Oops. And then the thing is, this closes up and can go out of the way for the moment. Bring back in my scratch pad. Oh. And all my little bits here. So I'm kind of I've lost myself now because I've lost my bits for my card to spell. So let's poke you out. They come out, see these bits, they come out so easily. You can poke them out. I do have a brush part for my take your pick tool, which of course is I've got an old one as well. The take your pick tool does have a a brush part like this, and it comes with a foam mat, so it makes it easier. But these whoops, the wing is flying on its own. These um, come out so easily. So don't feel the need to pull everything out. I see, I, I take your pick tool has. It's always doing this for Facebook Live, doesn't it? It's always disappeared. It's there somewhere. Right, so that's my little olive branch, supposedly. Oh, look! Nearly chucked the back for the tail. Right, here we go. So, I'm looking at this bird and I'm, see by sticking that on there you just give this wing such beautiful texture. So it's quite big. And then that one I'll stick on there. So we'll stick them together in a minute. I'm just trying to kind of get an idea of my composition. And I think I'll pop this bit under his tail as well. So we need to do a bit of sticking here. And it's the usual glue debacle. Which one's going to work? I'm down to four. I managed to finish one yesterday and get it in the bin. So we'll see if this flows or not. Nope. And hmm. nothing to poke it with because I've I think I put the I was using a needle yesterday and I think I put it somewhere safe, but I don't know where that safe place is. See, my tweezers will just... Just to get the gumpy bit out. There we go. Just popping just a couple of bits of glue. And we'll pop the white bit behind his tail. So we may not get two cards today. This one might take forever. We'll see how we go if we get two cards done. But um, so that so that his tail isn't too see-through, and then we'll do the same with the wings. I'm actually just going to put glue on that top bit because it's. I think it's quite good that these buns lift a little bit, and it just gives it all. A wee bit of dimension. 
So I just put glue under that sort of solid bit there. So basically I'm just building my bird. It's just beautiful. I love this and I don't know why I haven't used it more. I have used it a bit but not as much because I think it's just beautiful. The stamp set is beautiful too. And the sentiments are just lovely. Right, so then I want to glue this one to the back. I'm wondering if I should put the front one on first and then yeah so as you see I haven't actually built one of these birds before I haven't I don't think I've used these maybe I have I can't remember now I think I just did it with one wing when I did it that I think it looks better with it'll look better with two So let's pop some glue on here. As I say, I didn't plan it beforehand. I quite like to just, just craft on the hoof and just see how things... Maybe got too much glue there, Janice, but we can just take that off. The cloth, just take that off. That's it. So that's our beautiful dove belt. And because I've left these spits, it gives it that kind of 3D look. Now, we have a white olive, but yeah, we'll just leave them with a white olive branch, I think. Right, and then we're just going to build the card and pop them on. And then I'll need to have a think about sentiment. So I'm trying to read your notes and family messages keep flying up here. <laughs> this Tim Hortons coffee. I have to come. I have to come and have some. So look at this. Do you know this? This paper on a card with a sentiment is all you need. You don't actually need much more on here. Last year I did some uh, cards where I did white embossing on of our, like a rabbit and the deer things from... Oh forgotten this, the name is it nature's beauty nature's beauty set yeah don't know where it's hiding from me yeah so it and a uh, they in fact the the youtube video that i did where all i did was white emboss nature's beauty images onto this paper and onto cards got more views than any other video I think last year. Just get that nice and flat. That's really lovely, isn't it? I've left it too late. That's a bit squint, but do you know by the time we pop our dove on here, who's going to know? I like that. So just put some glue on his main body but still leaving the wings and his tail a bit free. So I'm going to pop him there. Oops. Probably not one that's going through the post unless it's maybe going in with a partial. Then we'll just pop a wee bit of glue on the back of That's a bit special, is it not? It is strange, Heather, what people want to see. <laughs> my craft room, my craft room tour would um, have. Is it Mary Con? She'd be knocking at my door. Right. So now I need some kind of sentiment in here. And. 
what are we going to do? I'm wondering about peace, love and joy and just put that as a wee banner along here. Or I could white emboss on tonight of navy and pop it on there. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Would you like to see a bit of heat embossing as well? Because some people have not seen heat embossing happening. So because I do have this one some scrap from cutting this the backs there i've got knight of navy here so i'm thinking oops peace love and joy oh how amazing is that it, that stamp fits there so let me get Th this is how i craft i don't plan things out i just see if what works and it just with stamping up stuff things just seem to work as you need them except I don't know where my other block is but hey this one will do I do have a long one but this one will fit all right so I did kind of anticipate that I might want to heat emboss but I did get my silver heat embossing powder but oh no I got white as well and I need a scrap of paper what have I got anything lying about here so what how wide do you think I need this I think I might just cut the piece of card first so I'm just going to measure this here I don't know if you can see in this corner So one and a half centimetres. Oh, let's just cut a strip off here at that and then we'll I'll cut one at two just in case I find that one and a half's a bit tight for getting my stamp in just in case that's my just in case piece righty let's get buzzing cousin right so for heat embossing i need i can't wait to get back to face to face classes and show people how to do that because i love the look on people's faces the first time they heat emboss so I've used my heat embossed body which is an anti-static bag it's just got some anti-static powder and probably corn flour or talc or something simple like that um, and it's just to stop the static so that the powder doesn't stick to bits you don't want it to and I've got a sticky ink which is Versamark it's a watermark stamp so you can use it for doing um, what looks like tone on tone stamping it does take a wee bit longer to dry and my chair is sliding out away from me so let's just stamp this i'm going to try and just get it in the middle here am i no i'm going to try and put it to that end so i can make a wee banner so I've just pop that down so i don't know you won't see it that well it's just so lovely that Peace, love, joy. And then some white embossing powder goes over this. And hopefully it will stick to the ink and not the rest of the bit of card. So we'll see. Actually, if I pop that there, I might be able to put some of that. <laughs> I didn't do that very well. thought I might get some of that back into the jar. Just brush off any bits that you don't want or need. There's just a few on the end here that I don't really want. Just flick it a wee bit. It's still there, so I have a wee watercolour brush that I keep handy. I'm not going to mess with that any more than that. So pop that over there carefully, make sure you don't touch it with anything. And then just fold up 
put that back in the tub. Oh, I'll be needing more white embossed powder soon. Oh, hi, Steph. Just saw you come in there. I'm quantum my tree in here. Right. Who knows where my hoot, my hoot tool. <laughs> Maybe I need a hoot tool. A heat tool. If you've got sensitive hearing, you might want to pop your volume down for a minute. Um, I don't think it's very loud, but then I have hearing loss, so I don't want to hurt anyone else. So let's see what happens. I did have tweezers around here somewhere so I could hold that and not burn my fingers. Here we go. got other ones. That's not the ones I was after. Didn't I have some I was po poked the glue out with, didn't I? Right, anyway, we've got these ones. Right, so I'm going to just get this heated up. Oh, that's not so good, Steph. Well, I slept storm last night and we wakened up to frozen snow everywhere here. I quite like fresh snow, but not when it's frozen. Just heat up the back a wee bit first. Just so you can see. Oh, look how quickly that's turning away. Can you see? There we go. Done. There's something quite special about heat embossing. Just gives a nice finish as well. So what I'm proposing is that we, this goes there. So I'm going to cut a wee banner end out of there. I'm just, I do have um, a banner punch, but I haven't checked the measurements for that. So there is a quick and easy way to do a banner end if you can find your scissors. Here they are. Whoops. I find this works anyway. So, and I just eyeball it because this is a handmade card. So I just cut what I perceive to be up the middle. And then I take from the corner to that cut line and from the corner to that cut line. And I've got a quick banner end. As I say, I do have a punch that will give me a banner end, but you have to measure that, you know, it needs to be this the width that fits in, the three widths that fit in it. I'll show you that another day. So I can either just glue that down or I can pop it on with a bit of dimensional, which I think I will do. Take care, Heather. Hope it's not too frantic at work. So there we have a very quick and easy card. take our dimensionals off and just pop this on kind of like a wee flag greeting there you go and there you have a nice 3d card as simple as that okay so the other way we could try on this one the other card is we could the dies also work with the stamps so I, I'm thinking here that we can bring in a piece of Whisper White and we can stamp these birds and see and then heat emboss them in silver and then cut them out. Oh, hi, kia ora, har, eh, an harid. In you come. So let's do both let's just do a fair bit of stamping here because i can use it for other things if i decide not to use on my card and i think i will also heat emboss the sentiment i don't know shall we would it show up it would show up with silver wouldn't it we'll heat emboss that first to see if it shows up and if it doesn't well i'll cut a different piece of paper How's that <laughs> for an idea? Right, have I got a stamp pin block? So just showing you a bit of heat embossing and die cutting. 
the joys of being a stamper. They are, they are many. Now, actually I'm having a wee think again because the little bird comes, it goes that way. If I could have the, what about, if I wanted to have both birds on here, I'm thinking out loud, maybe just want peace on earth. What about that as a sentiment? who doesn't want peace on earth because I'm thinking more if it's stamp it stamped over here it would show up more with the silver I'm sorry I'm doing the thinking out loud here folks it's, I don't know if it's a fault that's not what I was after though yeah I want to, well, that's it, so we can heat and gloss as well. Right, we'll quickly try the sentiment on here first. Right, so if I want, I mean, I could just stamp it in black or night of navy, and yes, it would show up, but just because we're going for slightly special here, probably going to run over, but if you're happy to stay, I'm happy to stamp. So I have, I've used the embossing buddy. And now just taking things so I don't get uneven stamping. I put it on a scrap of paper so that it's easy to put it back in. And I'm going to put this onto the part of the paper that is quite light. Peace on earth. What a wonderful sentiment. And then my silver embossing powder over the top. Of my words, just pop that to the side. Will I bring it in again like I did? I messed up the last time, but let's see if we can get some of it back in the tub. But I've got my bit of paper to catch it if it doesn't. Oh, that was clever. That's nice. So we'll just quickly heat emboss that before we have any accidents. Get out the way. Where's my tool? Here we go. It's going on now. This getting it hot because and then warm up the paper a little on the back. And then if you want oh look it started to go already. Is that not magic? Magic, magic. Peace on earth. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I don't, to be honest, that would just be pretty on its own, on a card. But we are going to go for more. Right, pop that out the way just now, right? A piece of white card. And we're going to silver emboss on that. Stamp on it and then silver emboss. So... I've got my ink, I need my buddy tool. Are y'all okay there? Is anyone else crafting or who's just having their morning coffee and waking it up and who's who's getting ready for bed? Right, so let's see what we're going to stamp. So Will the big bird fit on here? Yeah, it will if I'm just about. I can manoeuvre things slightly. I do have other blocks. But sometimes, you know, new customers only have one block, so I'm kind of showing you how you can work. So, inking up. And pop the bird down. We are going to die cut, so it's fine. But we'll emboss first. That's down and up. Pop that for being cleaned. And then we'll get the little bird and we'll ink it up. That's him done. 
I don't know if I want a bobble and I don't know if I want, oops, don't think we want a Christmas bobble but then when you're doing something like this you might just want to do a few bits and pieces and then you can use them on another card but I'm just thinking that will do for today. We've got a branch and two birds and now we need our silver embossed paper but I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper underneath just makes it easier for tidying up. Oh, Castle the cat's with us. <laughs> Was it the heat embossing or my voice? Because the heat embossing would be more interesting. Right, so as you see, there's not enough powder on the end of these wings. So just pick up. I obviously didn't. There we go. And just... It won't matter too much that there's extra bits because I'm going to die cut these out. But I see there's not much on here. Let me bring these, this over a bit so it catches the bottom of his. That's a bit better. Close my powder up. I need to get that off because it annoys me. Right, so we've got some extra bits and the brush. Where did I see if I would just put things away? I spend more time looking for things. Eats into my crafting time. Right. Heat tool again going on. Warm it up and back a bit. You can you can do the whole thing from the back, but I just like you guys to see see the magic. It's a very addictive process. <laughs> Sure, this bit here is melted properly. I'm just going to you, you don't want to heat, you need to just sort of so that it's melted and smooth, but you don't want to do it for too long and it'll burn and then it just won't look nice at all but they look fine so let's bring in this machine again
So now we need the dies that will cut that out and just hope I haven't lost my pack of dies and my muddle here. So I need the three dies from here that cut. So I've got this one. We'll cut the outline of that bird. That one and this one. We've still got three dies that we haven't used. So we've got this one that cuts out a beautiful branch. This one cuts out berries. And there's the one that cuts out the bauble. So yeah, there's loads still to use in this. This is kind of one of those sets that I hope they will bring back next year. Why are you listening to Stampin' Up? Is this one you could carry over? Now, because I don't have a magnetic plate for this, I think I'll just use a little bit of washi tape. That is, if I can find any. got a tiny bit left here of this one. I have tons of washi tape, but because I hadn't planned exactly what I was doing, I didn't. Just to stop it sliding about, especially when I'm wanting it to be fairly accurate. So you just sort of aim it around your stamping. And do you know where I've, where have I put the top plate? Where did I put it? <laughs> oh no! I had it! What did I do? Can anyone step? Can you see where I've put my plate? Here it is. <laughs> I need an assistant here. Bring it through. Take them off. Fold up my machine and put it out the way. My dies, okay. My dies are in a fridge box. Okay, so I've got one of these long fridge boxes. And it just happens to be the right length. So I keep all my dies in the, their packets. Because I'm one of these people that once they retire, I will sell them because I never get time um, to use retired stuff. So yeah, they, they're in there. And that's, and then that just goes on my wee work. I've got a wee work surface at the back cabinet where I keep all my card stock and everything out of the daylight. Right, let's just tidy up a bit and finish our card. That bit, that bit. And we need these, Put the plates. The plates sit behind the die, the box that the dies are in. And then that's them there. I do have a system, it just doesn't always show. I do some, I have some magnetic sheets as well. I'm needing to get more and I usually put a magnetic sheet inside each die packet and that way it keeps the, easy, they're easier to get in and out and I can keep an eye on that I've got everything. 
each die pack it does tell you how many dies are in the set so when I'm putting it away I always do a wee quick count to make sure I haven't lost anything and using this magnetic dish I'm working um, to make sure I'm not going to lose any so right let's just let's just make this bit up and then we can decide I'm thinking you know something along these lines and maybe maybe he can sit on the branch there I don't know maybe don't need that branch because he can sit on that branch or that one even there and have him up there something like that you okay with that okay how are we doing for time oh we're fine we're fine for time Right, so there we go. So just some wet glue. Oh, this so pretty this one, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Steph, you were putting a teeny tiny object to return to a place in a huge envelope. Okay, so you, you might have lost it in the size of the envelope. I think it, you would think it was an empty envelope, probably. Right, and we'll just pop that down, hold it so it doesn't slide, and then that just smooths the glue out. Oh, I've got, what do you call it, powder everywhere. But that's a Janice thing. Right, so I'm thinking he that's just perfect. I don't think we need this branch, do we? Or shall we? Extra branch or no extra branch? What do you think? With or without that extra branch, folks? I know there's a lag, so I'm waiting. I'm just going to wait for you to advise me what's next. No extra branch, Steph. You were the first to let me know. So just pop him like that, hovering on these branches. Yeah. Okay, so we want some dimensionals. Now the question is, did I put them away the last time? Did I lay them down? Oh, I put them away. How fun, how amazing is that? Now I thought, well, well, we'll stick them on first and then I'm going to bring out my wee tool that I was sharing yesterday, my favourite tool. I'm just going to pop a two because I kind of like, you know, this lifting off the paper a wee bit. So I'll take my dimensionals off here and pop him there. And then this one needs... Well, that's good. You both agree. So there we go. Because it's like there's a branch here, so he's kind of sitting in that branch there, isn't he? So what about pulling out our beautiful wink of Stella and having some shimmery doves? My die cutting's not perfect here, but it must have slipped a bit. But part of, oh, Janice, you've made a mess of that. I've got something dirty on here. Well, hey, we've got a brown dove. I've just ruined this. Must have had some ink on there. Mm. That's not so good. Well, we've got 10 minutes. I'm going to take him off and do him again. Because that's not the look I was looking for. I know you do get brown pigeons, but that's not what I was after. 
I've taken it off and I'm just going to quickly do another one. Bear with me people. I know there's something wrong when I put something away. Well, do you know, where's my stamp? It's the big guy, isn't it? We'll just quickly stamp and heat and boss him. And I might just do a quick fussy cut, to be honest. Right. Redeem yourself, Janice. Redeem yourself. See, put the dimensionals away, but I hadn't cleaned my wink of Stella. I was doing sparkly robins yesterday. Oh, dear me. Right. But everything's fixable, as we know. Yeah, and I know you probably didn't see it that well on camera and had it. However, I could see it and, you know, I wouldn't say it. The camera's a bit forgiving sometimes, but... Right, Janice is getting herself in a... So when you do something like that in your own camera, it's a bit annoying. So I need my stamp emboss, but my buddy, just to take the static off here. I will redeem myself. Nobody's perfect, and I'm a long way from it. <laughs> right, Mr. Dove, don't mess me about this time. Could have just said he had been playing in the dirty water. Right, so that's powder on. Let's get a bit of paper under here first. And then we'll try and return some of this to the pot right away. the stray powder into the pot for next time. Lid on. I'm going to put the heat embossing. <laughs> I picked up. I wanted it to be white so I'm just sticking with it. We're all right. We've got a few minutes. So you're getting an extra bit of magic here. Ooh. Right, are we going to die cut it or are we going to, oh, I think we'll just die cut because I'll probably mess up the fussy cut. So <laughs> let's just stick this on here properly. we we'll use a bit of washi tape and then we'll just quickly fire it through our beautiful cut emboss. Now some people in the States have already received the small machine. Mine is in order, it will be here next week. Um, and they're already calling it Baby Boss. I'm so excited, it'll be so much easier for bringing on scissors, snips. I'm just going to take half this paper out of my way. So where did I, oh I put the plates away didn't I? This is one of these amazing videos where I put um, put things away. It's almost anathema to me. But anyway let's just, I am just going to quickly do it this way. You have seen it done 
the other way around. I, you won't see all of this happening just now because I know it'll not be all in shot. That's why the wee one is going to make it a lot easier to be able to have it in shot properly for you. Right. That's a lot quicker than fussy cutting anyway, isn't it? white dove this time but let's make sure I put my dye in the tray because there's always a chance of losing it. Right now what I would say is if you've got a cloth or a piece of kitchen paper before you start using your wink of Stella clean the colour off it. So let's pop them on and we'll just finish it off with a bit of sparkle. I think I might have just about redeemed myself. There we go. And then this time I'm even going to test it on a bit of card first just to make sure. Yeah, we've got silver shimmer now. Am I quick just all over the whole thing? Just adds just that little bit of extra sparkle. That's just all about we're making this card special. So just paint over and it just adds the shimmer. I'm not sure you'll see that on camera that well. But believe me, it makes all the difference to what you see. And then just a bit of bling. Let's bring some bling. The easiest way I've had it to communicate with um, stamping up is the sandbox to let them know of things that you're needing. You're looking for new home stamps. Do you, what about the alphabet dies? I used them recently for new home. And also the, uh, the word dies, I cut them up. If you look back in my videos, you'll see that I um, was a wee bit inventive when I was doing some new home. Oh, that poor brown dove. See the difference? Oh, the poor thing. Right, some bling. And my old pokey tool is here, so let's just add a bit of... I'm using the larger ones. Just a bit to catch your eye and then this one I bring this one in and we'll do a bit of that one there actually just on the end um, does he want a sparkly eye do you think well that'd be a bit spooky let's try and see what it does I can take it off again one of the little ones oh there look he's got a shiny eye Now, because I had these two on, I went, I put another three to pull us around the picture and also to keep the number odd because that pleases. I think I've frozen as well. Sorry about that, folks. No, oh, stay still. Right. There you have it. Two 
doves and we're on 12 o'clock and I was slightly late starting so not too bad yeah the paper makes it doesn't it it's just so easy you can stamp straight on the paper you can emboss as you see you can emboss straight on the paper so it doesn't have to you know to make a beautiful card it doesn't have to be too complicated so i hope you've had fun today watching and i hope you've enjoyed we've put a lot a couple of two or three techniques in there there's a you know there's embossing onto designer series paper there's embossing onto card stock there's embossing and die cutting and then there's just die cutting on its own so a fair bit in that but these dies are exclusive look beautiful so thanks everybody for coming and joining me. I've enjoyed your company and I'm sorry that I did freeze there because my battery was running out. I've plugged it in now so hopefully I'll get through to the end. So yeah, please, please give me some thumbs up if you're watching this later. Um, please leave your comments and your opinions please let me know which one you like best do you like this this is one and this is two so please let me know which one you like best i don't know whether i like it better on the frosty one or the dark one Send me some love to let me know you're here. Send me some hearts. <laughs> that was a good one. Steph, stay on the fence. I actually like the darker one best, Anne had it. But yeah, they're both really nice cards and I'm pleased with how they've turned out. And like I always say, if I've pleased myself, well, that's... You know that's good one person's happy there's loads you can do there's loads you can do with this set so yeah thanks everyone if you've seen any products here and you're in the uk and you don't all have already have a demonstrator you can buy from my online shop and just click on above there's shop, a shop now button on this page so and it will take you straight to my online shop so i'd be delighted to have you as a customer or even better if you would like to join my team you could ask me about that okay thanks everybody bye bye stay well everybody